Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, September 15th. Awkward because um, I just vlogged this whole thing and then I realized that I didn't press record on my camera. But anyways, um, it's just been a really busy month for us. Uh, September is always really busy because we have so many birthday parties and stuff like that. But we don't live with our family and friends at home anymore. So it's, it's still been a busy month. But yesterday was my brother's birthday. Tomorrow is Michael's birthday. So it's just kind of crazy. Um, I do want to do like a house tour with you guys and show you like what we've done with the house because we've really been working on it but right now it's a mess and let me show you why it's a mess I'd like to introduce you guys to someone this is North she's our little puppy we got she's a little brat but she's cute but say hi say hi say hi mamas <laughs> um so that is our new puppy. She's about 12 weeks old. We, oops, sorry babe. We adopted her from a shelter. Uh, we've had her for about a week and a half now. I always said that I'd never get a dog because I'm just not an animal person. Everybody makes fun of me for that, but I truly don't like animals. Um, but as some of you may know, being a military wife, you're alone a lot. He has to sleep in the field a lot and I don't know anybody here. So I got a dog because I'm here alone a lot and I needed someone and she's perfect. She is still a puppy so she's still biting and um, scratching and all that stuff so we're trying to train her and get that taken care of that keeps me busy the majority of the day because she is a puppy and has a lot of energy. Um, like I said we did adopt her. Her and her five siblings were dropped off at the pound and then taken to the shelter and all five of them were adopted out except for her. She was saved for us and um, yeah it's it's been kind of crazy like she's trying to bite my foot right now. Um, stop. Stop. And she's always trying to eat everything. What is in your mouth? Having a puppy is like... <laughs> but anyways I never thought that I would um, like a dog much less love a dog and she's crazy and a rascal but I think it's just because like she's my person out here like I don't have anybody else you know so to come home and be able to have her here and be able to like care for her and take care of her um, for right now she's you know my person and I, I, I really love her and I never thought that I'd love a dog so it's really weird for me to say and um, yeah but anyways so Thursday I am flying out to California. It is my best friend's bridal shower this weekend and the next weekend her is her bachelorette. So I'm going to stay out there for about 13 days, so almost two weeks. Um, our puppy is staying with my friend Brianna and, um, and Michael when he's home on the weekends and stuff. But she'll be taking care of her for me so I'm super thankful for that. Because I was going to try to bring her with me to California and oh my gosh. I'm playing Delta and they charge like $400 almost it would have cost me to bring her with me. So that just wasn't going to work. So thankfully my friend offered to puppy sit and I'm super excited. Um, I'm excited to go see everyone and be with everyone. I'm going to miss Michael but it actually turns out that I chose a good week to be gone because all next week he's going to be out in the field anyway. So not a big deal. I will miss him though and I will be excited to come back to my house and my comfy bed but yeah, so like I said, I want to give you guys like a full tour of the house. I don't know if it'll be this video or the next video, but I did go shopping, so I want to show you guys what I got. I um, specifically went shopping because it is my best friend's bachelor, I mean bridal shower, like I told you, and then also um, my other friend, my best friend's sister-in-law, it's her baby shower. She's having a little girl, so we went shopping today, me and my friend, and we tried to get some stuff for... <laughs> This is what my day consists of. You're scratching me. <laughs> Stop it. Um, oh, careful. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys some of that stuff that we got. Okay, so the first place we went to was TJ Maxx. And I found her this cute bag. It says Bride. So cute. It has little handles. Um, I got her 
I got this. Look how cute this tissue paper is. I got that. And then also, it might seem a little weird, but she's um, obsessed with sloth. So I got her these sloth bags. So sparkly. Super cute. She loves sloths. Uh, don't ask me why. But <laughs> so I got her that. And then it was actually really hard to find like bridal stuff that I like. So like I was saying, she's obsessed with leopards. So I found this pajama set. It's like a top and some bottoms and it's the softest thing ever and I got it from Ross. I think it was $16.99. So soft. She's going to love that. And then I also, I got her this Starbucks cup because she's been collecting the cups from the States. So, I mean, it wasn't really part of her bridal shower gift, but I'm just going to throw it in there anyways because she's going to love it. It's from North Carolina. Starbucks little collectible state cups. And then I got her these um, coffee cups. If they say hubby and wifey. I got these from Marshalls for $5.99. And then, like I also said, she loved leopard. And I actually saw this at the Dollar Tree. And I was like, that's just super cute. I'm going to get it for her because she's going to love it. And I just put some of her pictures in it. And I wrote in it. And yeah, she's super cute. I'm going to throw that in there. And then also... Um, I got her these. These are actually funny. I guess you're supposed to bring like a pair of underwear that will make her guess like you brought them like something that will remind her of you. But um, I thought it was just like supposed to be like a funny um <laughs> pair of underwear. So I got her a funny one. So she's just gonna have to try to guess who got these for her. Like I mentioned before, she loves sloth. So I got her um a diet a sloth riding a dinosaur on the front and the back of the underwear. So. <laughs> Um, I found those on Amazon. They were like $5.99 or something. They were super cute. So I went ahead and got those for her because I just thought it was funny. Uh, and then the last thing I got her, I mean, I might wind up getting her more, you know, because I love to shop and all that. I, um, I made her something personal. I saw this on TikTok and I just thought it was a cute idea. I'm not the best artist, um, but I try to be crafty when I can be. So I went ahead and I made her this. I think she's going to love it. It's probably hard to see. Let me show you guys. So this is going to be her new last name. And then I took a picture, their engagement picture, and I traced it um, of them. And then I put the wedding song that they will be dancing to underneath it, kind of like a Spotify thing, so that it looks like an album cover. And I just thought that that was so cute if you like hung it against a, a dark um, background. I think that that would be super cute. And I just know that um, since I made it for her, she'll think it's special and she'll love it because she's my best friend. So um, that. And then that's it for her. Um, I'll, I have to try to fit all of this stuff in my little carry-on to go home in. So hopefully that works out. All right, my dog went and saw trying to jump up here so I had to put this chair right here but so at Marshall's I found these cute little bibs they were only $3.99 they're like the um I don't know oh bandana bibs but at Ross I wound up finding her a lot I got this Carter's outfit which actually it's funny because we went to the Carter store before we went to Ross and I had this outfit in my hand for like nine dollars and they don't, I didn't wind up finding anything else there, so I was like, oh, I'll just put it back. And then I found it at Ross for $5.99. It was so cute. It's yellow. It has these little flowers on it. I think it's adorable. And then I was trying to stay away from pink because I know when it's a girl, everybody's going to do pink. So I got her this. It's like a little jumpsuit and it has a little hood. Seriously, so cute. Ow. And it was only, um, I think, I don't know where that tag went. I think it was $12.99. It was originally $45, and I got it for $12.99, so I thought that was a super good deal. And then I also got her these three, oh yeah, it's $12.99, the tag was everything. Um, these three little outfits, this pink one has like little ruffles, and then there's a little, um, striped pink and white one and then it has the leopard around the edges I thought that was cute and then also just a little leopard and pink long sleeve one they're all long sleeve um I thought that that was a good idea because she's having her baby in um December so I went ahead and got those it was three of them and they were 
I don't know why all the tags are missing. I believe they were $7.99. $6.99, sorry. All the tags came off, that's so weird. Super cute idea, my, this needs to be like cleaned. It was in the trunk of my car from when we moved, but it says bride's bestie. And so she gave this to me right before my wedding and she put a cute note in it that said like, um, we'll keep, you know, passing this cup back and forth to each other, you know, save it for me when I get married and then you can give it to me. And I don't even know if she still remembers that she gave it to me, but it's been, she gave it to me when I was getting married probably like two years ago. Um, cause we've been married for like a year and a half. So probably almost two years ago she gave it to me. So I'm going to give it to her and she'll love that because she's, she's my best friend. So I know she'll love it. I also got these, um, sweatpants. I just thought they were super cute. They are like a green color and they have pockets and they were only $8.99. But I wanted something comfy to wear on the plane besides leggings. Like something with pockets really helps. Um, because I do have like an hour and a half layover in Atlanta and you know those are kind of boring so I don't know why that matters what kind of pants I'm wearing but anyways I'm just rambling now that was my haul for today my dog's eating my sandal if anybody has any like um puppy tricks like how to get your puppy not to bite you and and it's not just like nibble okay like if she nibbled on me fine but no like she bites and she actually bit Michael really hard a few times actually to the point where he had a bruise. With him, he, she's super rough and we're trying to like figure it out and understand why. And I think it's because he's like the more playful one and the more like um, outgoing one. When she tries to like do stuff like that to me, I'm like, nope, stop right there. You're done. And just basically ignore her and don't look at her because I don't want her to think that I'm trying to play when she's biting and stuff. So we're trying to break those habits and stuff because one day we're gonna have a baby and I don't want her being like this. I know she won't be. I know that she's gonna be a really good dog because besides that, like going potty, she has no problem. Like, I mean, she's had accidents here and there, but for the most part, she go, we take her outside and she goes potty. The kennel at night, she sleeps in the kennel all night, has no problem. Since the first day we brought her home, we put her in the kennel and I think from being in the shelter, she knows. And so she's super good about that. Um, and she's super lovable, super sweet when she wants to be. Um, super active, but it's just hard because she's a puppy. So it's like trying to teach her, you know, now that we don't bite people and we don't scratch people and we don't do all that. And it's hard because her freaking little baby teeth are so sharp and her little claws are so sharp. Like me and Michael are just covered in scratches more so him than me. But, um, yeah. And she just chews on everything. We tried the apple cider vinegar thing where we put it in her mouth to make sure that she doesn't like it. And then, no. Spray it on. Did you just growl at me? Anyways, um, that was my haul for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And um, I look forward to showing you guys a house tour video. And I also look forward to showing you guys me going to California and getting to see all my friends and my family and all that fun stuff. So I'm excited about that. Thank you guys for watching. If you can give this video a big thumbs up and uh, make sure that you hit that subscribe button before you leave, and we will see you in my next video. Bye!